All right, everyone, we are here with a very special guest. We are joined by the lovely Hannah Brown. She is back in studio this time. The first time was at Sirius, second time was at Zoom. This is your first time here, so welcome. I'm so glad to be here. We are happy to have you back because we, you know, Sometimes there's guests that we just like to have on and you it's like a check in. It's like, hey, how are you doing? You know, we haven't talked to you in a while. What's the update? Um, (laughs) And you I mean, you've been busy and you're on this show, Special Forces, that has been so intense. It's crazy. I so I want to start like from the beginning of you deciding you were going to even go on this show. Like what made you think "Mm, that that looks like fun? (laughs) Um, well, I think the thing was, I didn't know what I was really signing up for. I thought it was going to be something that was like a transformation show, like I'm really going to learn something, which I did. Yeah. Um, and I heard it was going to be intense. So I was like a bit scared. But if I would have really known what it was going to be like, I think I might have questioned <laughs> if I should do this, especially when I met everybody else that was on the show. It's like actual like Olympians and athletes and then me I was like oh gosh yeah what am I doing but it was it was I'm so glad that I had the experience and and did it like if it, it was truly like one of the best things I've ever done I feel like that's the best way to go into it because if you had known like this is gonna happen this is gonna you probably would have been like mm, not for me like that show is just not gonna cut it but because you didn't know it forced you to do something for sure and I think the only thing they like said to prepare is just like you are the person that like says that you're done so whatever is too much for you you get to leave and I liked that yeah because if I saw that we had to do something from the beginning people were just dropping like flies (laughs) I know but you could just be like okay too much for me but then I kind of get competitive with myself and I'm like come on you can get through it yeah right so that's what I did. Yeah, you don't want to drop out. No. Because then you're like, everyone's going to see I dropped out. And it almost feels like you're letting yourself down, even though it's okay. Because what if out. the next thing, for for me personally, isn't as bad? And then I miss I miss the opportunity mm-hmm. to do right, it. Right, right. Now, you, where were you guys? We were in Jordan. Like, okay. Um, in the Wadi Rum Desert. That is... Which I... I just feel like desert. that trip, like just traveling to that location is like what did I sign up for absolutely and like I don't like the desert at all like Palm mm-hmm. Springs for me is yeah. horrible <laughs> I, people love it I do yeah. not the way that I feel I feel um like a lot trapped. Of dust mm. I feel trapped though yeah, like yeah. I can't get out so when I found out it was going to be like in a legit desert I was like this is literally like my worst nightmare like that's how much I hate the desert mm-hmm. like worst nightmare and it does feel like that because it's just like so desolate and just a lot of dust and sand and I don't really like the sand even though I live by the beach (laughs) it's just not my thing no water um so yeah getting there was a journey but that was fun because I had never been to like the Middle East before Mm -hmm. um but when you're there I mean it's it was 120 degrees so it was just so hot is there downtime from the time that you get there to then you're filming the show yeah we had to quarantine for like five days and we stayed at like a pretty nice hotel. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, and we couldn't, do, any, we yeah. couldn't do anything. So I just like laid, like laid out and like got a yeah. good tan. Was and there a pool? There was a pool. That's nice. And we were actually on the coast of like the Red Sea. That's where wow. we like stayed. Okay. So it was not. It was just yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. by the beach. Um, and like we could train if you wanted to, but I just was like, I'm gonna rest my body because I don't know what's gonna happen. I like ran like once in my boots because I had to break. We had to break them in. But yeah, I just hung out and I loved it. Which the the, the producers were like, I think you should just sleep as much as you can. I'm like, what do you mean? Yeah. They're like, trust me, just, you just want to sleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what's gonna happen yeah, to me? Yeah. How much time did you have from finding out that you're gonna be on the show to leaving? Because then you're like, oh my God, I gotta like work out, exercise, prepare for this. Yeah, it was like a month maybe. Mm-hmm. So it was not a long time. And I had just kind of gotten back into working out. I wasn't really working out a lot. I was having like all of this like body stuff going on. Like everything was like breaking down. <laughs> and so I had just gotten back into like working with a trainer, like for strength training, but like there was a long way to go for me to become like special forces. Forces, Yeah, Yeah. Like like, I am not there, but I just had to just continue doing what I was doing and just hope that it was enough 
And if not, like, yeah. oh, well. When you got to camp, what was the initial biggest adjustment? Well, once we got there, just the just 24-7 discomfort. Like, yeah. you're just uncomfortable the whole time. And um, there's, like, no privacy at all. Yeah, the bathroom like that. All the really, bathrooms were lined up. It was really next hard. To each other. <laughs> it was. I couldn't. <laughs> I was literally constipated for like most of the time. Yeah, I just couldn't. Just quite, I feel you. Quite that literally, would, that would be my biggest nightmare. Like, worst I, nightmare. There's no way I could go to the bathroom in front of us. Like so, I can't even say the word. No, like yeah. you know, I had to go to the <laughs> medic. Made me like the medic was like, if you don't go to the bathroom, like. <laughs> this is going to be an issue and had you to start giving be, me medicine yeah, and like, then like we're everybody gonna disqualify you, if you don't <laughs> and know. everybody was like cheering me on to go to the bathroom oh like it was like God. a whole i'm so surprised they haven't shown yeah. it. i was like <laughs> i got home and i'm like my storyline's going to be that like about me not being able to yeah. shit. <laughs> like i was like cuz it was talked about the entire time so they haven't really shown that but yeah that was really hard um the food, it's kind of crazy the food, uh, to think that did you guys not were look good. next to each other like like high fiving, yeah, like yeah. it was, yeah. and low, and like, low, <laughs> like here, yeah, it's sticking out of the bathroom. There's a piece of plywood, and then the mm-hmm. next person, it was, it was horrible. And they didn't tell us how to clean out the, um, yeah, because it was just a bucket. And when you try to use the restroom, like there's flies, oh, everywhere, like fifty flies. Wow. So it was you, well, they, they gave you happy a, you had this experience. They, yeah, <laughs> yeah, they gave so you they gave you like the real deal experience cuz cuz I do feel like sometimes with shows like this people watch and they're like this is a TV show like and when the cameras stop rolling like they can go and do whatever they want it's fine but it really feels like they put you guys into as legitimate of a situation that they could have. For sure like you didn't see producers so that all they had was like a lot of cameras that were around and you barely saw cameramen like they really made it to where you were right it it's was a big adjustment immersive. from the bachelorette <laughs> yes <laughs> but also that's difficult in its own way yeah. but um it was like i had to keep reminding myself like you can't die like that is how much it was so immersive and like you really felt like you were there like okay I'm doing these things but like this 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 is a tv show this is a tv right. show I would like tell yeah, myself yeah, that yeah yeah was it almost easier in a way that you didn't really see the cameramen and producers because it allowed you to kind of just like fully be in the moment rather than like knowing all the time that it is a tv show yes I think for me even with like the bachelorette and I really didn't pay that much. I can't, like, I just was myself. Mm-hmm. I'm so different now, but yeah, I was definitely myself then. Um, and for this, yeah, I think it was great that there weren't cameras there uh, because I think we all got more vulnerable with each other. It really felt like we were all doing it together when there's somebody with a camera up your nose. Yeah. yeah. It just makes it different. Um, so yeah, I think the experience is really cool to get for for people to see us all really authentic. There's really no way to like be a persona or like put on face in that type of experience. Like yeah. that is just like who the people are. It's like stripping these. you down to your core. Yeah. And I really liked what you said. Um, you said in another interview where you said if you were going to do TV again, you wanted it to be something that really aligned with what you were feeling in that mm-hmm. moment and that's kind of what special forces was for you because you had done the bachelorette you did dancing with the stars and this was kind of just like a growing experience yes like this show the whole the whole show is for you to become a better person at the end of it and i'm so thankful for the experiences that i've had but the next if i was going to do reality tv again it was going to be something that was really transformative mm-hmm. and that was going to push me challenge me right. um probably show sides of myself that aren't like always what I want to show to people but really just challenge myself in a way that I felt like it was a positive experience mm-hmm. that's what this show is like it's supposed to be a positive yep. experience really hard yeah but in some of the other shows that I've done I don't know that's like not the takeaway that's always what the show's about I don't know so it was something that like 
I'm so thankful for. Yeah. I mean, props you because these conditions make you really vulnerable mm-hmm. and like there's n- there's nowhere to hide. Yeah. I I had such a like I feel like everybody had a different experience there altogether. But for me, I kind of just like locked in mm-hmm. in a way that I'm honestly like working through in therapy. I'm like, why was I so <laughs> calm yeah like, yeah. like why yeah. was I in my element yeah <laughs> there um and we're working through it and yeah. I think like just past like things that have happened in my life and just like the way that I grew up uh chaos like chaos I kind of like thrive in mm. and this was fully like you're in fight or flight the whole time and I was like my body was like oh we've been here before we know how to handle yeah. this or everybody else is like this is awful I'm mm-hmm. like oh I could stay here a few more days yeah and I'm like but I knew in the moment like hey this is kind of weird mm-hmm. so we've been like processing that in therapy yeah. of like that's really interesting it it is yeah. but it's like I guess when you have like some PTSD stuff um that's what happens. Mm. So that's what this experience was for me. <laughs> did, did you um, enjoy or like get anything out of talking to, I guess, what are their official titles? I know the you guys DS, just call them staff. staff. The, yeah, yeah. But like when they kind of everyone has their moment where they are taken in and they have to like really unpack some mm-hmm. real trauma and you have these guys that you're just telling this to and they're very blunt. So it's like, it's not like a, a really sensitive, like, how did that, how does that make you feel? Like, it's a like, like, move on. Yeah. They're like, pretty, <laughs> pretty serious about it. So after you kind of had that conversation with them and you talked about, um, you know, some family trauma, how did you feel like leaving after talking to them? Um, you know, they are, they were scary to me the whole time. Yeah. I, if, when I watch myself, I'm like, I just look terrified the whole oh, yeah, time. Your face the entire time is like this. like but like you don't know if you because they yelled at you for like last smiling they were like stop fucking smiling yeah and i'm like i know you're just trying to joke around i'm just like trying to stay positive and not like like, when i feel uncomfortable i smile they want they want you to cry (laughs) yes but i'm not like actually a big crier Mm -hmm. probably trauma that's probably another thing um unless i'm anxious or i'm tired that's when i cry uh and I was anxious and tired probably the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was it was great to talk to them and them to like understand a little bit about like where I'm coming from, and they de- they definitely heard us all out. Like yeah. I, I felt like it was a safe place to to talk to them about it. But um, they were just like, yeah, that's your past. Like let's move forward. And like sometimes when you go through really hard experiences like early in life, it actually prepares you and it not like that it's a positive thing but just like I said for me I've been in a place where everything feels chaotic and scary and um I think that kind of helped prepare me for being in this situation where like I could find a place where I could go to stay calm and get through the whatever challenge we were going in knowing it's like there's always a, a end like it won't last forever right right that's right. kind of like my motto in life is yeah. like <laughs> it just nothing lasts forever like you can get through the hard times and I think that's just like resiliency yeah um and then they just kind of echo- echoed that for me so I could keep going in the process right. it was quite the cast of characters from and of course like I, I joked at the beginning you know early on ev- people were dropping like flies <laughs> and then you kind of had like a core group that really stuck it out to the end but i remember fran texting me about this show being like you gotta see the cast of people on this show yeah just because it it was was, wild it was just a wild group it it really was it really was so who like kind of surprised you the most like was there anybody that you went into it being like god i don't know if i'm gonna get along with this person and they kind of surprised you um i feel like i went in like super positive about the whole thing because i didn't know anyone um I'm trying to think who I didn't think I would get along with who was all there yeah (laughs) was it weird seeing like Kate Gosselin right like oh I would say oh I know Jamie Lynn Spears yeah yeah yeah. she I I, you know I didn't know I've only heard things that I'd seen like in the news about her especially in the past year it's been very heavy Spears related and she my experience with her was amazing yeah I really 
think she is lovely and I enjoyed like my experience with her and we all have like a group chat and she's just so supportive and um yeah I I can't have nothing bad to say about her but I was a little like yeah, you know, you get, Team Brittany. For sure. yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Um, like I've seen the podcast about you guys. Yeah, but um, she was great. She didn't really talk about yeah. you know her mm-hmm. personal life in that way, but also she was um, really supportive of like and proud of her sister. I think that's everything that she says normally, and that was what I heard from yeah. her. And um. Yeah, she was one that really surprised me, and I'm so thankful that I've I've met her and got to know her on that level. Kate Gosselin, same. Like I watched Johnny Kate Plus Eight, and right, like, just so interesting hearing her name again because yes. like when we were younger, it was like, what is this reality show? Yes, and she was also like really easy to talk to and nice. Yeah. She was nice, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> you like you yeah. you realize that about she was a quick uh, accent uh, about yeah. she yeah. was quick accent. about most people though, right? Like you yeah. you read a lot of news, you hear a lot of rumors and things, and then when you meet the person, they're all they're always nice. Yes. You know what I mean? Like I feel like everyone is always a little bit misunderstood. For yeah. sure, I can say that for yeah. myself, but also you know, these people are whether it's polarizing people on the show and it's like the, their m- worst mistake does not define them mm-hmm. or even just like the character that they play on mm-hmm. TV doesn't define like who the right. person actually is. And this show really got you to like meet the, yeah. the real person behind the facade or the what they've done, the best thing they've ever done, the worst thing they've ever, ever done. Yeah. And so I'm really like was um, honored to be able to meet all these people. What about the guys? Because like you said, towards the end, you... So we're recording this right now. The finale has not aired, but when everyone is listening to this, the finale has aired. So we know that you are really at the end of this and um, you have made... And there's not a lot left. You're, you know, you're with Carly Lloyd. You're with Danny Amendola. You're with Dwight Howard. Like, these are athletes. Athletes. Like, Mm -hmm. professional athletes, Olympic athletes, um, and me, and, and Hannah Brown. <laughs> yeah. It's it's which is absolutely fantastic. I think that's why they you know they even wanted to make a show like that. But what surprised you most about like that this group of guys too? Because they sometimes struggled more than I expected that they would. Yeah, I mean there is something about like women have this mental tenacity that I don't think always gets a lot of credit for and I think you see that in this show like we have to put up with shit all the time Mm -hmm. and I feel like sometimes with these like especially the athletes for the guys it's they're so used to succeeding in everything especially like physical anything physical that when they've struggled it's like they shut down or have been talked down on I don't think you know they're not talked down right 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 I also think just like women's bodies in general like the period itself is, is horrible. Is horrible, and we have to deal with that every month. Yeah, and all the other things that come along with it. That I always say, I'm like, if guys had to experience cramps, I don't know how they would no. act. Like, oh, it, they would not. They, they would. Right. They would cry. Lay on. They would cry. They would just lay on the couch yeah. all day long, which is what we want to do, but mm-hmm. we can't. Right. And yeah, I think that was something that it just really like the how women can like just get through hard things but we we have to Mm -hmm. um but not saying like they were all great but i think that's just like in general i think was really interesting to see um just yeah did you feel like a little bit of a competitive i mean of course there's some competitiveness to this but like to know you're like i am here and the only other female i've am here now with is Carly Lloyd and we are kind of at we're like working at the same level here like how did you kind of rationalize that well I I just it I mean my boyfriend like literally laughs at me every time he sees me on tv running with that stupid (laughs) with that bag he's like you're trying so hard but I'm like like with my hands like (laughs) hands like this and I mean I I couldn't compare myself to them like these are Olympians uh and like nfl champion like no super bowl champion i couldn't think of the word (laughs) um so i had to just be like i just need to be my best self Mm -hmm. but then when i was there i'm like okay i gotta start getting they they kept telling me like carly even today was like you have to start getting yourself 
a little bit more credit. Like you, do. To- you should be absolutely really proud yeah. of yourself. Like, I think that's sometimes insane. I like and like screaming it from the rooftops yeah. because you you beat them like right like, yeah i think I, that's like where that imposter syndrome i'm like oh but maybe it was just a fluke like i'll tell no, myself no it that. was not and it wasn't yeah, it no. wasn't but that's kind of like because it wasn't I do. one thing it was a like, lot this of this yes. this was an entire show that you yeah. did and made it to the end yeah and yeah a and lot you, of people did and it. you were passing a lot of these tests that yeah. were mm-hmm. not like that a lot of them were not passing yeah so I still am having a hard time yeah, wrapping my head around You should really that. be insanely proud of yourself. Yeah, thank you. I am, but I still, like, there's this part of me that'll just, like, make excuses in my head for wh- what happened. And it's like, no. We all, everybody was there. They saw. Mm-hmm. They I saw me it. do it. <laughs> yeah, it, it happened. Um, but I think that was, like, my struggle through the whole thing. Like, I got there and, of course, I saw, like, athletes there. And I'm like, oh, I was, like, counting myself out. But then I also knew that I am a lot more resilient. Yeah. I mean, mm. I can't blame you. Like, yeah. <laughs> d- it's one thing to see Danny Amendola, like a Super Bowl champion for sure. But then like throw Dwight Howard in there. And you're like, you're this like, guy is am- seven feet tall. He's mm. he's jacked. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. 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 Um, so it was really cool to be. At Sometimes the, the brain is more powerful than a really strong mm-hmm. body. Which I was really impressed with my brain. Yeah. I didn't know it could do all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, uh. I have a lot of mental fortitude, but I think that's also because of some of the experiences yeah. that I've gone through. Yeah. And then having to like work through that at like these right. past few years. I've really, that's like the only thing I've like focused on is kind of mm-hmm. just like building back up my mental health. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're, are you, have you been watching it all with your boyfriend? Like, is he, how, what did he think of you going on the show? <laughs> he was like, it's weird. Like people who know me, they're like, oh yeah, you got this. Like, it was, it, that's why I need to still like work on like believing in myself. But all my friends were like, oh yeah, you'll probably win. And I'm like, <laughs> what? And I'm like, what? Like, no. And they're like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw you on the cast, I was like, she's probably gonna do really well. I just, I just, yeah, I, I just feel I, like. I don't know. And I, I it, but like for me, I got like really nervous and he was kind of the same way. But then when I called him right before we went in and told him everybody on the cast, he was like, oh, um, dang yeah well <laughs> well just try your best <laughs> yeah. it's okay if you get out there as long as you showed up yeah. yes. he was like okay well just try your best and so when I called him like after and was like I made it through he was like oh my gosh of course you did but like that's crazy yeah. um he like says when he saw me I looked just like you could just tell I just been through some mm. shit um but so he was really proud how long was the entire process and you didn't like have a phone, you couldn't talk to anybody on the outside? Yeah, it was 10 days. But like for me, that was also, I think, one of my it strengths. It was 10 days? Yes. I was, my guess, I'd be like, they were out there for months. <laughs> <laughs> 10 days is a good amount of no, time. 10 days, yeah. yeah. In your head, you're like, yeah, yeah. 10 days, I could do this. Like it's yeah. basically, yes. if you think- Way more manageable. It's basically a week plus three days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's tr- That's truly what I told myself, like, you can get through anything yeah. for 10 days. But then I was like, I don't know if you can. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, it was 10 days. We had like five days of quarantine. Um, and then I went on like this like big trip in Europe after. And I just knew, I was like, whenever you leave here, you get to go to Italy. So mm-hmm. just try to get yeah. there. You, you got 10 days. And I was going smart, to Italy. That's really nice. Really smart yes. planning there to be yeah. like, I got, a, I got the vacation of my life. After yes. This. That's awesome. So that is what really like helped me get through too so I I set myself up pretty nicely but without having the phone I'm so used to that because when you're the batch on the bachelor bachelorette you don't have your phone the whole time and that's months yeah so and I'm like the worst on my phone so I enjoyed it right I love it probably take my phone yeah Yeah. I'm like please have the only time that you really will put it down and and not touch it because you know you can tell yourself like I'm gonna put my phone down for the rest of the night and you in an hour you're like but what if someone texted me what if someone needed me but honestly, like I told everybody in there, I'm like, I'm, I'm not getting my phone. Like I actually enjoy this. And now that we have a group chat and like talk, they're like you actually never are never on your phone. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I hate it. I, mm-hmm. I, I could have a flip phone, I think, yeah. and be fine. But then I wouldn't be able to see the yeah, yeah right there. <laughs> you get all yeah, your yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, would you do this show again if they asked you? They're like, listen, we need the all stars to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, I 
Okay, so what you happens? Can say no. Yeah, you no can. because <laughs> I think I think I be proud would of because you, did you, it. you you basically did, did as best as you can. So. Yeah, I probably still because of that, I'm like a psycho. Yeah, I probably would be like, no, I got to do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the last day, what? Because it airs tonight, mm-hmm. but um when we had to do like the torture or whatever when we have to listen to the noises and like for hours like you have a bag over your head and like standing in stress laying down in stress positions that was truly awful like i was like crying in my bag being like i need this to be over um but i was smart and i drank so much water and they can't let you go to the like they had to let you go to the bathroom so the bathroom was outside and you could take you could take your mask off yeah. to go out there so I truly was like had to go like I didn't just go hang out in the bathroom and they like stand there to make sure yeah, they yeah, go to yeah. the bathroom but that helped me so much because I could see like because wh- it was through the night like if it was like the sun was coming out what was happening right, right, I'd be like right. okay a little sense of reality I've got like it shouldn't be that much longer it shouldn't be that much longer is what I kept telling myself but it was like 12 hours of that wow I don't no, yeah, yeah, I yeah. did that. I would not want to do that again. So that's like the one thing that would make me not want to do it. Yeah. You're it's like, just I already one. did it. Yeah. And got through it. Yeah. And do not want to do it again. Yeah. But it's, it was so impre- how was really your, impressive. How was your vacation after all of this? It was amazing. <laughs> I had a horrible athlete's foot, though. Like, Ooh. <laughs> our athlete's feet. Yeah, two yeah. Feet. It was two. Um, <laughs> Double. It was well, disgusting. Well, I, I imagine those boots aren't the best. Clean. I mean, Carly... It was me and Carly that got it and like peeling off and just like it was Ooh. disgusting. So I had to wear close toe shoes all day. Because yeah. <laughs> people are going to be but like, what is wrong a with A lot her? of walking in Italy. So probably for the best anyway. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Um, but I have only been out of the country from being on The Bachelor. Bachelor, Bachelor. Yeah. So this was the first time that I could like give myself that and be able to afford it, first of all. And it was such a great experience. I did all of Italy by myself. So it was a solo trip. That's Amazing. really nice. And it, that was really empowering. And then my boyfriend met me in uh, France, the south of France. And then we did that together in Paris and London. Romantic. It was really romantic. And yeah, that was like, I was gone for seven weeks. And it was amazing. That's incredible. I, I'm so thankful for that trip. Like that yeah. time in my this you summer your, was like, really you pray love. Yes, really trip. sounds like a dream. It was. It was really. How did you pack for that? <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> my suitcases. I had two suitcases, and then I had like the like away carry on, and they were packed to the brim. Yeah. And I wore all the clothes. I yeah, was actually yeah. really mm-hmm. proud of myself. Yeah. Like I didn't overpack. Well, yeah. Two but months. You, yeah. Yeah. It's a long like, time. Yeah. And then like ball extra stuff. We had, and especially I did have to buy you're like suitcase. on a trip or on a vacation, you feel like a pressure to, to wear something cute like every day, like to wear like a new outfit. It's like, yeah. you know, like I'm not going to put on the same shirt every day. So y- that's a lot of days. <laughs> and it was so hot. So like everything was yeah. sweaty and yeah, gross. Yeah. So it was like, I, I went through the stuff and then had to buy actually more things. Like, I truly did. All this yeah. stuff was really gross. <laughs> um, and I was done yeah. being in sweat. And this, because on the show, we only had two shirts, three pairs of underwear the whole time. Oh. <gasps> Think of being on your oh, period. Yeah. yeah, that's a nightmare. That's a nightmare. It was horrible. Yeah. And that was also an extra. I think I just I mean, I changed on. my underwear like to, at least I, yeah. to, twice a day. Especially like if you're. And if you like, if you do go work out, it's like then yeah, you, you shower change, in the you morning, shower, you put, put new on underwear new, yeah. on, you shower at night, you put yes. new underwear on. Yeah. So there's a lot of undies. It three pairs. Three pairs the whole time. Oh my God. I would just go none. Um, at that point, if yeah. I had to start rewearing them, I would just go, um, <laughs> I guess maybe you can't, but. Because you have to like change and. And then it might be front. uncomfortable. Yeah. But honestly, we got so close. I would just, I was so hot. I would just lay in my underwear <laughs> and just like s- spread Ugh. out and like you don't have I'm not getting into you don't yeah. you don't have a razor you don't have a razor <laughs> yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> things but, are growing but I couldn't care less I Freeing. was so hot oh, I was yeah, like yeah I'm disgusting. I can't wear these cargo pants anymore. When Danny's when you're sitting that across mi- from me yeah. and, like, <laughs> and I'm like. 
I would have never thought yeah. in a million years yeah. I would be in this situation. It's like, I shouldn't be seeing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, when you're like that, when it's that hot, it's quite literally the only thing that you can think of. Yeah. Like, mm. you're just miserable. Yeah. yeah. Any, any way to cool down. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, like, Let it air out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely yeah. oh man so what what else is going on with you you know how where where have you been um, are you home home is L- LA, california yeah but i'm 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 moving okay to nashville oh nice going awesome. back to the Fun. south i'm excited i love la i was in santa monica so i loved being yeah. like a beach girl I lived three blocks from the beach um but i've always like kind of wanted to try Nashville and I think it's a good time to just see if it's something that I like but if not I can always go back yeah um so I'm excited like so I'll have a and, and Adam's moving with you yes okay. yes Fun. he got a he got a, a job there and yeah it's a new adventure yeah. I'm having a hard time a little because now it's just real um but I actually think it'll be really good. There's everything there. It's like growing. Yeah, I like yeah. Nashville so, a lot. Yeah. I, some of my friends recently moved there for, like, they're like splitting their time and they really enjoyed it. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I love hearing how people yeah. that are that have moved from like New York or LA. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like it. from New York yeah. to Nashville. Yeah. And they love it. That's, that's good to hear. I mean, my parents are only three hours away. His family's close. So which like three hours is a good balance yeah yeah like definitely. there's some boundaries there but also like that we can see each other more um so i think it'd be good yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of bachelor bachelorette people in nashville like do you stay connected to any people really in that realm anymore like <laughs> not much i yeah. mean it's just i feel like i saw you were in you had like a double date scenario with, with matt, matt right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. me and matt like have like, it's so weird, but yeah, we're really close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so we saw them in London, and that was awesome. Uh, but no, I'm not. Yeah. I kind of am out of that. World. I really feel like you have kind of stepped. Out. I yeah. know what. That's okay. Which is, which is that is completely okay. Exactly. I, I, and exactly. I feel like for yourself is probably it's more a just good like, thing. It's not because like I have like any yeah. beef with anyone. It's not that at all. Like I think there are no, some great your, people. Some people move on with their lives. Yeah. Yeah, and I just can't. Yeah. stay in that i think yeah i think it can be great sometimes but i think it's also um can be hard on your mental mm-hmm. health you yeah. just have to continue exactly. and be in all that yeah, yeah. i don't want to talk shit about people anymore yeah. yeah or ever really but like i think it's you're always trying to like you're in a drama cycle and i was so really... you haven't been watching the show anymore <laughs> no no <laughs> i mean i feel yeah i struggle watching the show yeah. like because i'm just like it's the same thing yeah over yeah, and yeah. over again and yeah. and you see the way that people like get treated as well i yeah. think that's kind of what you're referring to and then it's like if you if you remove yourself which i feel like you kind of yeah. have and you move on a little bit and you close that chapter you still have those really dedicated fans that found you from that yes. way but they are not lumping you in with the drama of what's happening all the time and who's talking about who and this person went on that podcast and said this about yes. their experience and like you're like these people are years removed and they're yeah. still fighting yes and that's i don't i don't want to be a part of that anymore i'm like so thankful for the show yeah. like yeah and i also and you have some fans that are really dedicated to you which is really great to see and they cheer you on and, and i see it all the time on yes, your social but that's the thing there's they've they it's really cool because they'll message me and they're like, I've started following you on The Bachelor, Bachelor. Like, I loved you from that, but it's been so cool to, like, watch you grow. And, like, mm-hmm. they're just really a part of, like, my journey as a person and are proud of me for not, like, just getting out, but, like, making, paving my own way. And yeah. sometimes that's hard because yeah. there are a lot of opportunities yeah. mm-hmm. through yeah, yeah, yeah. being, you know, staying with The Bachelor and, and kind of feeding off that but I just needed to to move on for myself. But like that doesn't mean that I wouldn't like support in some way yeah. if it was like a good opportunity to to do something. But right now it's been great to just yeah. Yeah. and do and it's and you, nice. there's obviously so many other things that you can do. And watching you on this show was really awesome. So I mean, truly a massive congratulations Thank you. for yeah. how you did on this show. So incredible. You should be so proud, so of, yourself. proud of yourself. Yeah. Like I'm, because there's not like I'm Kate Gosselin with a broken neck on day one. 
that's yeah. like I'm like I'm being <laughs> helicoptered out of there. Mm-hmm. So I'm it's so impressive. To see like if the show like has a, a next season like. Once you've seen what the show is, like, right, right, are people gonna like want to do yeah, it? Like, right. I don't know, um, but I think they should. It, it it's yeah. great, but yeah, super. You proud. spoke very highly of it, even with the hard stuff. It, I think, I think it, they would. I think they would because I think it, you can hear it in your tone of voice that you, yes, it was hard, but at the end of it, you came out. It's like a hard workout. Like you don't want to show up to the gym, you don't want to go, but once it's done, you're like, wow, I'm really happy I did that, yeah. even though it was really hard in the moment. Yeah, yeah. Like I, if anybody got asked. To, to do the show i would be like you have to do it right yeah. and if you can't if you can't hang like you can't hang yeah <laughs> that's that's like, at least you can't yeah. um, but like, like if you can't pass like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't basically <laughs> that's win good. the whole thing you should own it you should own the fact that you did so. yeah but like you get to make your own decision and it's so great because you're not having to like vote people off for um yeah, it, I that think is a good cool. aspect. Yes. Too. Yeah, it's not based it's not as on a popularity, no. or right? Anything. And that and that could really get to somebody's head. Yeah, yeah. I can't no, do any more of that. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I can't do any more of that. It was yeah. much more of like we're all in this together than like, yeah, you're going head to head, and it's yeah, on you. People. It's yeah. it's truly yeah. on you. Exactly. Which yeah. I exactly. think is, is really cool. So yeah. thank you so much for yeah. joining us. I'm so glad Thanks to be back. back yeah. Y'all. yeah, happy you came back. And once again, you should be very proud of yourself. Do not Friggin doubt yourself. Crushed it. <laughs> Absolutely crushed yes. it. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thank y'all for having me.